Hey guys, and thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, we'd really appreciate it if you would. Today we're going to take a look at the Lenovo 24-inch Tiny N1 touchscreen monitor. This is only a monitor. You can install a tiny PC in the back of it to kind of make your own all-in-one, but they are sold separately. There were a lot of questions about this with the Gen 3, so I'm going to try to address a lot of those now. First off, this is just a monitor, and it does work standalone, and it will work with almost any desktop PC. That said, it only has a DisplayPort type input on it. So if you don't have DisplayPort on your computer, it's going to be kind of hard to connect. You can go from DisplayPort on the back of a PC to many different things, HDMI, DVI, even VGA. But you can't go from any of those to DisplayPort directly. You really need an adapter, and it's not as simple as just a cable. Uh, all of them are powered. Some of them have like a little USB pigtail, so it's a little unusual. Because of this, you can't readily connect an HDMI source like a laptop or a game console. A lot of people asked about that. Um, the touchscreen functionality, webcam, and the USB here on the side do work whether you use the tiny PC or a regular desktop PC, but you have to connect it multiple ways. You have to run DisplayPort from the computer and an HDMI A to B, which is a 3.1 Gen 1 cable, which is a little unusual, in order to get all the touchscreen and all this functionality to send back to the computer over USB. But it does work. I have tested it, and it works just like it does if it's a tiny in one mode. Um, the tiny PC is very much sold separately. Tons of questions about that, uh, and I'll show you all how to install that in the back of this thing. Um, it's very unique that way. I usually don't like all-in-ones and usually recommend against them because all-in-ones are not very repairable or upgradable. They're a pain to take apart. You know, if anything goes wrong except for replaceable items like a hard drive or RAM, the whole thing's basically dead. They usually use proprietary power supplies. It's just it's a good way to get a short life out of a PC and dispose of it. When with these, I mean, it works as just a monitor. You could upgrade the PC itself by just sticking a different one inside of it. And I'm a really big fan of that because I really like for things to be repairable and upgradable. Uh, as far as the power adapter, that's another point of contention. This comes with a 90 watt power adapter with the screen, and that will power the screen, or it'll power a tiny in one when it's installed and the screen. Now, some of the tinies are really powerful, and they'll have higher than 90 watt power adapters, so that would be a little bit of a different case. This tiny doesn't come with a 90 watt, it comes with a 65 watt, and so because of that, you'd have to use the 90 watt. If you use the 65, it would not be enough power to power the Tiny and the monitor. So that's why it does come with a higher wattage here. But if you've got like a you know, high-end like P330 or 340 or some of the Xeon processor or even an i9, that's not likely going to work off a of 90 watts. So I would refer to your paperwork or call Lenovo for recommendations there does have a 1080p webcam with dual mic array, which is really cool. does have a privacy shutter that opens and closes. Uh, you can also angle it without having to angle the screen to change the pitch you know, of the webcam for when you're on video. The old one you could just turn straight down to kind of eliminate it, but I like that they added the privacy shutter. It does have dual speakers as well. They're only 3 watt. They're not anything crazy, but they are built into a monitor. Uh, and then it does have a USB 3.1 Gen 1 port on the side, but that only works if you've got a tiny in one inside or have the USB on the back connected to a tower. Also, it does have a spot for like a pin or a stylus to sit here, but there's not really a specific stylus to the tiny in one. I've looked into that a lot because people did ask, and I've not seen anything that says that, you know, there's a good stylus to use with this. It's really just a 10-point touch screen. As far as features, it does go up and down, which I really like. And then it is, um, it does swivel, which is really cool without moving the base at all. And then it does tilt as well as rotate. The rotation I think is really neat. That way you could view documents vertically, but you would have to change those settings in Windows. It's not gonna tell the computer that you rotated it. And then the tilt is really neat as well. It does have a lot of tilt to it, which is really convenient. Um, they also changed the wire management. It's now this like rubber guy. It was a plastic one on the last generation and those just fell off, fell behind desks. People lost them and never saw them again. So that was not a very good design. So I'm glad they've updated that. I'll show you all how to install a tiny PC in it as well as all the connections on the back. 
The monitor does not come assembled. You have to put the stand on this vertical part and then clip this into the back. Underneath here is a visa mount so it can be mounted on an arm. You can see the ports on the back, power display port, and USB type B, and there's the USB type A. So if you're going to connect this to an external um, computer, you'd use all three if you want to have the touch, webcam, and everything. Otherwise, if you're putting a tiny in here, you only need power. To install a tiny, you're going to start by popping this filler out and removing it. And then you're going to pop this door up. There are three connectors in here that connect to the bottom three ports on the tiny there. You can see them inside. So you take your tiny PC, you may not want to have the Wi-Fi antenna on there when you do this. You're going to slide it in and wait till it fully seats. See if you can see the ports slide in there. Once you're in, you want to screw in these thumb screws so that it can't get pulled out while it's running. If you've got an antenna and you intend to use Wi-Fi, you can flip that up and there's a little dummy that you can pop out up here so that it can come out. Once you're done, you can close this up. I really like how they vented this on the third gens. These weren't vented, so this would actually get fairly hot. Um, and it does have this room down here where your cables can come out to go to like a second monitor, feed in ethernet, USB cables, whatever you need. To turn the tiny and one PC on, you're gonna use the power button here on the right side. The Tiny PC itself comes with a regular Lenovo wired keyboard and mouse. The monitor, of course, doesn't come with a keyboard and mouse, but I'm using a wireless Logitech setup on here. You can see it's detected that it's in tiny in one mode. And of course, this is touch screen. You can do pinch and spread and all the normal touch screen things, as well as scroll. I enabled the on-screen keyboard so that I can use it instead of just a regular keyboard too. Let's take a look at the camera. Alright, so it's a 1080p webcam and of course it does angle. You can see you can angle it down enough to have a total blind spot from seeing the front bezel here. And it does angle up quite well. I'm not going to go straight up in the air. I like that it's got the indicator light that lets you know that it's on. And of course the privacy shutter is pretty cool as well. I really like this Gen 4 Tiny in One, and I think there's a lot of improvements over the third gen. If you intend to buy one, if you could use our Amazon affiliate link in the description, that would help support our channel. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have anything you want to add that I didn't include, please put that in the comments as well. I'm always glad to learn something new. Thanks.